the injury itself, what time do you think you've actually hit your head? About 4.30. 430. So then you continue to work until as late as 10? 10 or 10.30, yeah. Okay. And then you, you re, but you have very little memory of the next six hours of work. Very little. Do you, do, do you remember taking a shower? I remember the shower very well. Do you remember the 911 call? Diane called 911. So, were you fortuitous that you had a friend coming over? I actually went and met her at her condo. I was dropped off outside of her condo community at a Mexican restaurant, uh, to which I just waited for her to come outside the gated community, basically, and pick me up. I remember going into the house. Um, I hadn't seen her for a while, so... Um, you know, it was pretty quick and it was late and I had to be back to work the next day. So I remember getting right into the shower, basically. I mean, I was 14 hours out on a longshoreman construction site, so I needed a shower fast. So I remember taking the shower, I remember the headache. And I told her I hit my head. She actually wrote something on October 18th, about 10 days later. What happened that night? She said, I felt his head, there was no outward swelling. and. And I, I remember her doing that. I can still see her doing that. She was sitting on the bed. And then we agreed that she was going to call the company. She called Bill, uh, who was working with me. There was only three of us, the company owner, uh, the guy I was that helped me get the job and was a co-worker. And um, we called Bill and told him I was really falling apart. I was sweating. I was nauseous. You know, all the signs of an intracranial bleed, knowing that now. But um, I was hanging over the toilet, literally sweating. I was not doing well. My back of my head was hurting. So um, you know, there was some signs of neurological dysfunction at that point, but not while at work, okay. other than maybe so not remembering. If you six know. hours post, the only evidence of, of an injury before the, this bad headache was that now looking back, you don't remember those hours. I don't think I remember from, I don't remember where exactly I hit my head. I know it was on the bottom of the bridge, but I can't say like what column, you know, what part of the column, because there are columns that go across and then there's spaces in between them. I, you know, I don't know if it was this edge, that edge, or the flat part. Um, I just know that it was around 4.30 in the afternoon. The reports confirm that. They say 4 o'clock, so. You're, this um, happens October 8th, 2005, which I think is about six weeks post-Katrina. Was this a hurricane? This was right around the time of Ophelia, which sat outside Cape Canaveral and just sat there and spun. It was right around that time. Next thing you remember is months later? The next thing I personally remember is uh, my sister, my brother. There's actually a memory that has come up, I'm sorry, before my, my sister and brother came down around Thanksgiving. But I do remember the nurse case manager, somebody from the Center for Comprehensive Services, and my doctors or parents, I'm not sure, but that was around November 9th. So from October 8th to around November 9th, I don't remember anything, nothing. Don't remember transfers to hospitals, don't remember tre treatments, techniques, nothing. Do you remember October 7th? I, yeah, I remember that whole week. Yes. What, were you, what were you doing that week? October, I was only on that job a week. So I've recalled that, that job uh, from around the 1st to the 8th, or the 2nd to the 8th. Um, I know the first night I stayed at the Radisson with, um, the owner wasn't on the job at that point, but one of his loyal assistants was from the diving company. But he had to go back and move out of his apartment in Miami. So I know the first night I stayed at the Radisson, um, ate dinner at the Radisson, didn't go anywhere else. And then the next day got up, went out to the job site and the boat wouldn't start. So they had to call uh, Tow USA to come out and um, they had to put a new battery in the boat. So we didn't really get started until halfway into it. Uh, I would say the next day 
I was living out on a 72 foot 1955 feed ship, fed ship, feed ship, uh, that was being restored. Um, and there was word that it, you know, I had gotten off the boat, so the generator wasn't running, the bilge pumps weren't running, and the boat went down, but it was only in about four feet of water. So with the hull and everything, it didn't really fall that far. But it took on some water, so I remember we moved the boat a little bit. Um, and then the next few days were just work days, they were long. I don't remember anything exciting or different or amazing, but I kind of remember the whole week, yeah. So you've got a little bit of amnesia on the day of the, of the accident, before it happens, a month of complete amnesia, and then maybe two or three weeks of In and regaining out. memory. And then is your memory, like by Christmas, is it pretty complete? It's funny you say that because I was laying in a, I had left Health South and went to the Center for Comprehensive Services, which is a subacute brain injury rehabilitation in, um, in North Tampa. And I remember laying in the bed sometime in the early afternoon, one of my naps, and it was like a video just came on. All of a sudden I remembered a plethora of new information. It just unloaded. It was almost like maybe some of the dry blood left a spot or something. I don't know. Um, and that was when? It was probably the middle of December. And all of a sudden, like I said, a lot of things just opened up. I don't know if I can remember anything specifically, but I went out and got a caregiver, and I said, bam, 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 bam. And she goes, wow, you just woke up. Then from that point on, your memory, other than um, expected short-term memory issues, has been relatively intact. Um, it's gotten better over the course of time. In mediation, they asked me, you know, what was the best part or the most productive part of your journey through rehabilitation? I said, maybe the first six months, because I learned so much and I was coming alive and coming awake. Um, yeah, more and more things came around, and I, when I bought the computer, that helped too, and they told me, they said, that's good, because it's going to continuously stimulate your brain, and got books out of the library, stuff like that.